What's up nerds, this is Cheshire from Cheshire Plays Games and we're going to talk about a Commander deck that is near and dear to my heart. This is a gross combo deck that is actually really cool and really fun. Get that out of the picture. <laughs> this is Bolus's Citadel. Now you can play this with any commander you really want when it comes to blue-black. Commander doesn't matter that much to be honest. There are ways that you can probably make this a lot better with a different commander, but we're not gonna rely on the commander because as you may know, my philosophy is don't build around the commander, build around your cards. And this is no different. So Bolus's Citadel is three buck and three colorless. And you can look at the top card of your library at any time. You can play the top card of your library by paying life equal to its converted mana cost. You can tap and sacrifice 10 non-land permanents and each opponent loses 10 life. I hear, Josh, how do I break it? What, what are you talking about? Well, here's the combo. Aetherflux Reservoir. So an artifact for four colors. Whenever you cast a spell, uh, you gain one life for each spell you cast this turn, pay 50 life, and Aetherflux Reservoir deals 50 damage to target creature or player. Now, you're probably asking me how this is going to work, because you're paying life for your cards. Well, that's fine. We'll get there in a second, but first you need to know some combos. What is the main combo? Bam! Sensei's Defining Top. Of course, right? For one mana you get this artifact, which you can pay one to look at the top three cards of your library and put them back in any order. You can tap and draw a card and then put this back on top of your deck. Put it back on top of your deck. Pay one life. Put it into play. Put it back on your top of your deck. Pay one life. Gain two life. Instead of one life, because it's your second spell. Repeat, 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 repeat. Kill your opponent. Awesome. Cool. How are we going to stop things like potential issues with lands being on top? We've got the Contraband Kingpin. Kingpin is real cool. So lifelink, one, four, for one blue and one black. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you get to scry one. I know, that's not terribly exciting, but uh, it can stop land gluts and stuff and let you keep going on your combo should you not have your Sensei's Divining Top for some reason. But uh, you can also play Retract. This is one blue returnal artifacts you control to their owner's hand. Now, last, Ditch, effort, last resort. Be very careful with this, because this will bounce your bolus of citadel. But this can help with your eggs if you've got a way to play them all really cheap, which we do, which we don't need to talk about. This mana reduces, you already know about that. Speaking of mana, we're playing Lotus Petals and Mox Amber and Lotus Bloom and Soul Ring and Felwar Stone and Thought Vessel. Now, why are we doing this? Sky Diamond? Demir Signet, we'll get there. Dark Steel Signet, Thran Dynamo, this is the, it's not foil, so it's not pretty enough, but it's pretty pretty. And, oh, really, Paradox Engine? You're damn right. If we're playing life, we may as well play a whole bunch of mana rocks so that we can tap and untap and just generate a whole bunch of mana for no good reason. No good reason at all. And I hear you saying, Chash, if I'm gonna be playing this awesome Citadel and I'm gonna be getting lots of mana, what am I doing with it? I mean, you're not doing anything. Well, we are playing eggs, because they're cheap, and they have effects that draw you cards. So we're playing, of course, Neil has Spellbomb, uh, Scrabbling Claws, Mindstone, which is technically between, I guess, an egg, even though it costs two, I'm still gonna call it an egg, uh, and a mana rock. We're playing uh, Metal Spinners, Metal Spinners, a puzzle knot. We're playing Prophetic Prisms. Oh, this one's, Really pretty and shiny, I like it. Ica Will Spring and Commander Sphere, because they all draw your cards. So you're probably wondering how you're gonna get stuff in your hand so you can combo off or into play. Well, into your hand you can play these really old Tudor, which is just a bad tutor, let's let's be honest. But in this deck, it's fine. If your opponents are tapped out, they're not gonna be paying the two mana, so you'll just be able to search your library and get whatever you want. Mystical Tutor, of course, go and get an instant or a sorcery. Put it on top of your deck. Bolus' Citadel helps you play it from the top of your deck. Uh, we have Demonic Tutor, of course, because you don't, you could probably run, uh, what's the other one? Demonic, uh, this is the full cost one, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's cheaper alternatives to this. We got Fabricate, of course, because we can search our library for an artifact card, reveal it, put it into your hand. And of course, Liliana Vess, because we don't really care about the discarding of a card but we do care about searching our library. Puts it on top. 
real nice. So now that we've got some of the hand search out of the way, we need some straight into play for some of our combo pieces. Tezzer at the Seeker. Minus X, search your library for an artifact with converted mana cost of X, put it into play. It's four. What are we going to get for four? Paradox. Ether Flux, basically. We're of Invention. Now, this has improvised for your artifacts. And we're playing in artifact decks, so, you know, it's, it's generally speaking, going to be pretty cheap for us to cast. So, three blue and X, we get to improvise as well. We can search our library for an artifact card with a converted mana cost of X or less and put it directly onto the battlefield and shuffle our library. So, that means... Whoop! Bolus the Citadel. Straight in. Straight in. We are, of course, running a Kaldrotha Forge Master as well. We do have some uh, Miri Shapers and stuff like that in this deck, so that's fine. We can just sacrifice some artifacts to get our artifacts directly into play. So that's kind of a clutch play as well. Speaking of clutch plays, how are we going to handle the fact if we don't win via our combo and we need to find a different way? Let's say that somebody has a thousand life. That's fine. So we are running Mechanized Production. We're running a Dark Steel Ingot and a Dark Steel Citadel because they're indestructible, of course. So your opponent has to really kill the aura to actually get it off the field. Otherwise, you're just going to keep replicating it and eventually win. We're also playing good old Trent Reznor himself, Psychic Corrosion. It really does look like Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails, the lead singer. Go look it up. It's great. Whenever you draw a card, each opponent puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. You're probably wondering how this is going to work. How are we going to draw cards? Well, that's where this dude comes in. The Riddlesmith. Whenever you cast an artifact card, you can draw a card. And if you do, discard a card. So Riddlesmith allows us to just basically combo off and uh, draw a whole bunch of cards when we're playing our artifacts for free anyway. If we panic... I know. I'm sorry. I mean, you could, you could really just use this as a combo without the Aether Flux. I know, but you might not want to. We're playing Doomsday Stacks. Doomsday. Ponder. Well, I mean, Karantic Sphere. We kind of want that in play. And a fifth card, which doesn't really matter. But uh, basically what we do is we just draw cards, draw cards, draw cards. Play Lab Man. Pay you two life. Draw the last card that's not in your library. And you win the game. It's that simple. Doomsday. Doomsday Stacks. Look it up link something down below. If you want a little bit of grossness, of course Vidalk and Ori allows us to play the land cards whenever you could play an instant. And Unwinding Clock, because untapping all of your artifacts during each other player's <laughs> untap step means I'm going to win whenever I want to win. And uh, there's nothing you can do to stop me really. So that can be a really cool combination as well. So this has been Bolas the Citadel. I'm really excited to play this deck. Uh, I've tested it out a bit, and it's it, this version's a bit shonky, and it needs a couple of things like a reshape and stuff like that. But uh, I can tell you what, this is extremely powerful, and I would not be surprised if the Rules Committee has Bolas the Citadel way up there on the watch list, because really, this is just a super gross combo. And uh, the design is just super gross. Anything that allows you to basically pay for Exine Mana, <laughs> it's just super gross. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this deck tech. Let me know what you think down below. This is Cheshire. Remember to hit that like and subscribe and all that crap that nobody cares about that everyone always yells about. But we, we've, we've got to tell you that because you might not do it. So like, subscribe, comment, share it around. I love you guys. I love you girls. I love everyone else. See you later, bye!